welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to talk about basically the anatomy of a Pandora bracelet. Might be really helpful for you new Pandora collectors. Uh, we're gonna talk about my thoughts on clips and safety chains, do you need them? It's super debatable, um, I do recommend them sometimes. Uh, also, if you're gonna pick a bangle, what type of bangle do you pick? You know, based off your preferences, uh, you have options. Also, Pandora comes with like a ton of different clasps options. Um, different, um, gosh, silver or gold, Pandora Rose, like where do you even begin? I'm gonna talk a little bit about leather bracelets and then what about that Essence collection? What is it about that? Um, maybe you like it, maybe you don't. We'll go into detail on why I like the Essence collection. Uh, anyway, we will jump right in. Oh, another question I get often is, do your bracelets stretch over time? What? Say hi. No? <laughs> uh, do your bracelet stretch and there's another question I'm going to answer and I can't think of it right now. Um, oh yeah, do they gain flexibility? So I'll demonstrate that as well. Break. Break? Okay, to start, we're going to start with all the barrel clasp um, bracelets that I have. And just to show an empty one, this is just the barrel clasp that has Pandora written along the clasp. Snake chain and has two spots for clips. So the first thing people ask, do you have to use clips? If you're gonna get this style of bracelet, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It helps to give balance to the bracelet. So as you start to build a Pandora bracelet, maybe you only want your charms in the center. It helps keep them there. I'm gonna show you an example with this one right here. So all I have are charms in the middle and those clips keep them in place so that they're not going all over the place. Um, I highly recommend it. I have seen people who don't use them and then it really ruins like the threads here. So I recommend the investment in them. If you absolutely hate them, I'm gonna show you some bracelets that don't require um, clips. So uh, I use a 7.1 or the 18 centimeter bracelet. Uh, I will go larger. Um, so here's one size larger right here. Uh, it's a centimeter longer um, because I have four Muranos on here and um, I like them to be a little bit, well, it's too tight if I have four Muranos on a 7.1. So um, I'll get a larger one if I'm gonna put Muranos on it. If I'm not going to, if this one has no Muranos, um, I just stick to the, the 7.1. All right, so you have silver on silver. That's what this one is. Uh, you have gold on silver. That's what this one is, just the clasp is gold. You have silver on oxidized. So this one has three Muranos on it, so it is a longer oxidized chain. Um, so the chains are oxidized. Um, I have heard that the oxidation, oxidize, <laughs> whatever that word is, um, wears over time. So I haven't experienced it, um, so it's still pretty dark. Uh, I think that this chain goes beautifully with charms um, that, are, that have a lot of oxidized um, details on it. So I think it goes perfect with this bracelet. Then in the barrel class family, you have gold on gold. And in Pandora Rose, you have the barrel Pandora Rose on silver. Okay, before we move on to other clasp options, let's talk safety chains. Um, Pandora Rose, I almost always, always, always recommend a safety chain because, let's unravel this really quick. Um, they're all like open work. So see how easy that just like came off. Um, if I didn't have a chain on here, uh, the Pandora Rose charms would fall off um, all day long. So to protect my investment, I do put a safety chain. Here's another cool thing about safety chains. If you don't like to see the screw part, you can have the safety chain kind of sit on there and then you don't really see 
the threading, um, which is kind of a nice to have because another thing I do is I'll put a clip at the end to protect any of the charms from falling off. So I didn't have a clip in the end of this originally and I was constantly losing my mermaid and um, that would make me really sad if I couldn't find it. So just put a clip there and the clip is gonna stop it from going. Um, but again, you can see the threading. We're on the other side of this bracelet. I have an open works at the end, which covers that threading nicely and gives you more room for more charms, which is always nice. So safety chains are options, clips at the end are options. Um, other options is you could just risk it, right? So this one, um, I have my bear my heart charm in the end, but you can already see like he's already starting to twist on the on the threading. So it's not foolproof. Um, if you're not gonna use a safety chain or a clip, I highly recommend using a charm that, right, it's gonna take a few spins and before it falls off uh, versus an open work that's just gonna slip right off. So it's kind of my thing on safety chains. Um, you can see I don't use them consistently. I do often end with a clip. Um, or if it's something where I really want to protect my investment, safety chains. Um, I've heard of people doubling, so they'll use a safety chain and a clip on the end for that added protection. Um, so these are all of the barrel clasp options that I have. Um, so silver, silver on oxidized, gold, gold on gold, and Pandora rose. Another type of clasp that Pandora has on their Moments bracelets um, are these. So they're kind of barrel, um, but they are decorated with some um, CZs. So I have the blue, the pink, and the clear um, cubic zirconia clasps. Uh, these are fun to choose if you're going to do like a color theme. So on my blue, I'll put on a, a blue theme my pink on the pink theme and then my clear one is going to go with um it's going to be silver and clear cz a common question i get um is do your bracelets stretch so they do stretch a little bit this one and this one are the exact same size but one is my old one, one is brand new. So if we kind of get these lined up, you can see this one is a hair longer. Um, it's not much, you guys. It's like, really, if you just look at the end of the bracelet, it's like about that much longer. So they do stretch. If you're wanting it to stretch a lot, um, it's probably not gonna happen. But the other cool thing, people ask like, hey, do your bracelets gain flexibility? Um, they absolutely do over time. So as you can see, that one um, is pretty flexible. This one, not so much. Like it's still pretty stiff and sometimes hard to like find the perfect, the perfect way to close it. So um, still very stiff, while this is very, very flexible. Mm, look, we just lost a charm from this one. See? <laughs> Hashtag safety chains. <laughs> Common clasps that Pandora will use will be hearts. So this is their um, just kind of plain silver heart themed. Has the Pandora logo on one side. It says Pandora on the other. And they like to fancy it up and um, do that same heart theme with some pave CZs, smooth on one side, blingy on the other. This one is in the Pandora Rose. Then I have the silver one too on the bracelet that I'm wearing. So the clasp is over here. So your silver CZ smooth on the other side. Um, it's fun to have some of their special clasps because you can match the clips um, with them to kind of really break it up in three different sections. Uh, these are like the pink hearts though, so it doesn't match exactly. But um, yeah, I'm wearing this one. And then they have like on, this, on the round 
clasp um, a heart paw they Susie's in there as well. So you definitely have some heart options. Uh, these also have matching clips, so I'm not using them on this, but you could if you wanted to. So there's some heart options if you really want heart clasps. Okay, so this is where things can get really fun with some of these clasps that they have. Um, so you have the Poetic Blooms clasp. It's kind of like a button charm, really. It has um, little flower details, CZs, some pink enamel, white enamel. Uh, this is really fun for like spring theme bracelets. I had my butterfly theme bracelet on this one. Um, it's currently not designed um, at the moment, but here's one of the fun clasp options. This one is one of my all-time favorites. So you have little stars on one side and then a big star on the other. Um, this one's called Starry Night. So super fun for, well, a star theme bracelet perhaps. <laughs> and this one has a lot of little Mickey heads, Mickey silhouettes. It's from the Disney line. Um, I was able to get this at a regular concept store. It's not a Parks exclusive, um, but this was what I used to design my first Disneyland themed bracelet. Um, Disneyland does have a special clasp that I'm probably going to end up um, getting on my next trip there. And then one of my other favorites is the signature clasp. Uh, it has a little bit of 14 karat gold surrounding CZs in the center. So it's really fun for like a two-tone bracelet. Um, it's also kind of a button, button charm looking thing. So those are some of the, um, I guess, special clasps that I, that I have. Okay, let's talk smooth bracelets. If you've watched my videos before, you know that I kind of just wear this one plain. Um, I don't put charms on it. It has just the circular round clasp. Um, I don't put charms on it because one, I don't want to ruin the Pandora rose. Uh, and two, we'll talk about this, we'll talk about on this bracelet. So remember I said if you really hate clips, you probably want to consider a different um, bracelet option. That would be this, because there are no clip stations. It's just smooth like the name says. Um, but, like, do you see what I mean? There's just, there's no break. It's just all one bracelet, which is nice, but I think I really do prefer the separation. Um, the other thing is you like have to secure these ones. Uh, I end up putting a clip on the end because if you don't, let me show you what's going to happen. They all fall off. Um, it's just because it's the smooth bracelet, right? It's it just, that's just what's gonna happen. So um, if you hate clips from the clip stations, this could be one that you go for, um, but You'll want to secure it somehow. Uh, the new bracelet that has like the lock, lock my heart, lock my, whatever it is, but it's kind of like smooth style. I really like the bracelet, but because it doesn't have the clip stations, I don't know if I would get it. And if I do get it, because I actually really do like it, um, I'm probably just gonna wear it like I wear this one, just kind of plain and the little lock can be at the end. So that's it for me on the smooth bracelets. Um, I don't hate them, but I'm not a giant fan. Something that I am a fan of, and I'm wearing it right now, so let me take it off so we can look at it, is the Essence Bracelet. So, the Essence Bracelet um, are really just beads that have something written on the side. So like that one says Courage. This one. Oh, balance on that left. Pandora on that side, but it's the balance one. They all have like their own little meaning. Um, and that one's for Virgo. Um, but what I really like about these, they're not character beads, but they do have meaning to it and they kind of just stay put, right? Like you could put it wherever and that's where it's gonna go. 
um, due to some silicone lining. So let's see if we can take a look at like, let's look in here to see if we can see the silicone lining in there. Do it this side so we can see the word. This one's affection. So that silicone lining really helps the bracelet stay in place. Um, options are bangles and snake chain as well. Um, I just kind of like the dainty look of the beaded, so that's currently what I use, but I probably want to get a bangle. I'm just really weird with the sizes. Um, one's too small, one's too big, so who knows what I'm gonna do there. Okay, let's talk leather. So the leathers come in two different clasps also. Similar to the smooth, it has the round ball and just this, and there's no threading. Or you have like the original clasp and the threading. So very similar to smooth. If you don't have these protected, they're going to fall off. Um, but I like the leathers, they double wrap, which is a nice kind of accent to wear stacked. Um, although this one is a little bit more protected with the threading, uh, I do have some silicone clips on here to just add some additional protection for this leather bracelet. So leathers are fun. Do you do leathers? Um, if so, do you wear them plain? Do you put charms on them? You don't want to put any more than, um, I think seven is the max. So that's it on leathers. Okay, our last segment for today will be on bangles. So there's two different bangle types if you want to put charms on it. It's the regular bangle, and you have the open bangle. So you could tell that this one is very, very circular. And this one is a little oval. So let's talk about some benefits of the oval one. If you like your charms to be sitting on like the top of your wrist, then open bangle is gonna be the route you go because it stays put, right? Because of the way it's shaped, like it doesn't go anywhere. It's just perfect and you always see your charms. They don't fall to the bottom because of the weight. And then it's kind of versatile too. So you can, you can do it this way and have the um, two end caps kind of point up. Then you have your charm on the bottom. So that's this bangle where if you get um, the traditional circle bangle, um, the charm's gonna be all over the place and you know, it's mostly gonna go drop to the bottom of your wrist because that's where the weight pulls from. Um, there are different, um, bangle options too that do not use charms. So I'm a fan of the Hearts of Pandora, Radiant Hearts bangle. It's oval and I like the oval shape because it doesn't, well, <laughs> I just like it because it doesn't like pinch your, your wrist. Um, Cause I'm weird on my bangle sizes. Um, so this is perfect. And then you kind of have the signature one too. That is just for fun, just for pretty. Just kind of, let's sit, first sit right there. So those are your bangle options if you don't wanna put charms on them. So I think I covered everything um, that I wanted to. Hope it gives you guys an idea of um, what your options are when you're looking at Pandora. Um, there are so many options, I like, didn't even realize how many options there were, um, but a lot of creativity with the different clasps and hope for those of you who had questions on safety chains or clips, I hope that answered it for you. Uh, if you guys have any other questions for me, let me know, I'd be happy to make a video. Alright, talk to everybody soon, bye bye.